Welcome to a Skyrimatic podcast where I will discuss my adventures and misadventures through Skyrim. Join me. Add your stories. Add your tales. Let's uh, let's get into this thing. Hey, what's up, everyone? <coughs> Skyrimatic podcast at gmail.com. Um, anyway. Yeah, that sort of feedback, guess. So anyway, I finished up some stuff from last week. I finished up that uh, Zinchalift uh, stuff and got the Grim Seaver. Uh, so that that area is, uh, you know, you start out with all the bandits, and as you get deeper into it, it's the Falmer. Um, you go into that big op- kind of open area where part of that uh, city, that like Dumner City or Dwemer City, is um, underwater except for the higher parts and just a lot of Falmer. <laughs> and then at the end you get the Centurion and the Sphere. So I like battle on that little, especially when you're lower level battle on the Centurions is pretty fun. You can kind of sneak around and cause they're pretty clumsy. <laughs> I mean, if they get you, they'll get you, but uh, they're pretty clumsy. They're not like quick, like the giants. So, <laughs> But uh, that was that was a pretty fun battle. I ended up getting the Grim Sea. But that's also where you um, – I'm not doing that quest, but where you can uh, – where you get that cube from that guy up in the ice. What the fuck's his name? I forget. Anyway, that's kind of where you do that too. So after I left there, I, I was overburdened again, so I got rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, did a lot of smithing again and a lot of um, alchemy and some enchanting, but not a lot. Alchemy wise, I've been putting some points into it. I, I'm almost done with this character, but I saw something intriguing. <laughs> Somebody had smithed a broom or something. Can you smith a broom? Really? I feel like they were bullshitting, and uh, I need to know. All right. So if anybody smithed anything like weird, obviously you smith pick pickaxes and axes. You can smith those up, and at least if you're going to end up carrying them, at least they're usable. Um, really a broom? I don't know. And it was smithed up to like 600 or something damage points. I, I mean, I've only gotten bows up to like, uh, granted, elven bow. The elven bow, I've gotten up to close to 300 with enchantments. So with, uh, you know, en- enchanted whatever I may have on, uh, gauntlets and, you know, necklace ring, whatever. I've gotten that up to about 300 and crossbows like 380. What the? Am I, can I get things higher than that? I don't know. Somebody let me know if they know, uh, if there's some, you know, not, not a cheat, but, uh, a way where if you keep going, you can, you can get the stuff even higher than that. I mean, I was, when I did it, I was leveled up, you know, I was like a level 81 character. So he, I was maxed out on everything. And I think I had it. I was able to make dragon scale stuff and dragon bone stuff. So yeah, I mean, I was, I was pretty high up there. So maybe maybe I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> but um, I wandered over and ended up at uh, Frostmere Crypt, which uh, you get there, and um, you got to follow these uh, couple bandits into the crypt, uh, Kier and Raji. <laughs> And, you know, pick off some bandits on the way, things like that. Uh, there's some silver ore on the way down for some mining. I did that. And then uh, when you get down to the, like this, uh, like a veil or whatever it is, you get down in there and here's laying on the ground just about to die. And he lets you know that Rajir has, uh, you know, obviously double crossed him since he stabbed him and left him there to die. And uh, the pale lady pops up, which is basically a wisp, wisp mother. So that was uh, – I accident, and I was all the way back at the entrance where the dude's laying on the ground dead. And she popped up, and I, was, uh, and I wasn't even thinking, and I just shot her, and she was dead. So that kind of – yeah. I wanted to have a little – I wanted to battle a little differently, but – um. I had the bow on, and it just was a reaction. I didn't even think of it. I was like, oh, damn. 
that was this would have been a lot more fun if I went in there two handed or went in there with uh shield and sword, which I kind of switched over to later. Uh, when I left there, I was just like walking, and then all of a sudden there was, you know, the random fights on the side of the road. There was a conjurer and uh, two guys, and uh, I it was I laced this guy with a bow in the face from behind a tree, like up a hill. Oh, and he was on the move. It was like one of my favorite shots. <laughs> and I got a kill cam. It hit him right in the mouth and took him to the ground. I was like, nice. That was that was pretty nice. And then I found stone hills that I don't think I've ever been to before, <laughs> but not a lot goes on there, apparently, because I had to look it up after I found it. I'm like, I don't think I've ever been to stone hills. Uh, it's just uh, a mine, really, yeah, iron. So I went in there and mined the iron and then just transmuted it to gold. Um, uh, when I looked up, there's only like some minor quests that go on there. Nothing, you know, just, you know, delivering stuff back and forth type quests. So... I I wasn't there very long, but I, it was weird. I don't think I've ever been to Stone Hills, so that that was odd. Because I saw the name pop up, I'm like, Stone Hills. I'm, I've been playing this game a long time. So I did a lot of a uh, lot of wandering to open up the map because I realized I hadn't even been down to Falkreath yet, which I got to at the very end of my play. Uh, I came across Kajenstang. Kajenstang, I guess it is. Uh, at the daytime, and when I looked it up, I realized, ah, yeah, you gotta go there at night. So, if you come across Zhenstang, go there at night, because nothing's going on at day. Nothing at all. So, I gotta go back there and do that at night, because I don't think I ever have. Or I probably haven't just forgot about it, because it was probably two years ago. <laughs> so, I continued on, um came across a, another ruin and uh, oh, I still have the Red Eagle Sword because I haven't finished that quest yet. Shit, I gotta do that. The uh, I came across uh, Full Gunther. You go in, in the beginning, there's a dead adventure. Whenever there's a dead adventure, you know something's going on inside. So um, you, you head in and uh, as you get further down, you battle a few Draugr here and there, but there's a bunch of dead Draugr around and you find this guy, Deanna's Valens, and he's dead, but he's got an ivory dragon claw and a journal. So you kind of follow that through. And uh, did a battle with, uh, was, it, was he a Death Lord? Yeah, I think he was a Death Lord at the end. Mercurial, Mikrol. And uh, I used double swords and some sneaking with him. Actually, I used a dagger and the Red Eagle sword is what I ended up using because I still have the Red Eagle blade. And uh, that doesn't, I mean, I only think burns like five. So it's not like high powered or anything. But because I snuck up behind them, I got 15 times and I used that and a dagger. The dagger had a soul enchant on it. But uh, I was able to take him out pretty pretty quickly, which was cool. And in that battle, like he usually opens up uh, all these other coffins and the Draugr come out. The Thralls come out. But um, since I got him, they all died. <laughs> Except for one. So, so yeah. I, that, that, that um, in Fall Gunther, I basically went two-handed or, you know, two one-handed weapons. I went with the dagger and the the Red Eagle sword and took care of that. And then I got his uh, sword. I think, there, I think in uh, that one you get a sword from him. It's like the Black Blade or something. I think that's what I picked up there. Then I headed over to uh, Lost Knife Hideout. After I, I went and cleared off some stuff, did you know, popped around to a few towns. The only time I fast travel is when I get when I want to get rid of stuff. You know, like when I'm about to be over encumbered. I just, that way, because I don't want to waste a lot of time running between towns because I don't have that much time to play. So, but I do like wandering otherwise. <laughs> So when I got back out, I uh, I got the quest about there was a quest about clearing out Lost Knife Hideout, so I went and did that. <laughs> a lot of bandits. I went with the sneaking and two blades in there. I used the pale. Uh, I did no, no. You know what? Okay, Lost Knife. All right, you go in like regular cave at first, but it's a pretty big cave, so um, 
I went in there and used, I think I was using, no, I was using sword. I was using the pale blade and a shield because uh, I, I didn't sneak at all. I just ran in and just started beating people. That was different. So I'd never really done that. I was having fun doing that. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good, good bandit cave. Lots of different areas. It's good for sneaking, too, actually. It's a fun sneaking cave because you can take some long shots on people. So you can really work on some fun archery from, like, real long distances, which is odd in a cave. You don't usually get that. <clears throat> so I'm a little congested this morning. But uh, I finished that up, you know, cleared out the cleared out the hideout. Knocked off that little bit of a quest. I, I, my quest log is, like, ridiculous right now. And I was having a problem with one uh, where I was supposed to give somebody at the Bard's College, Bard's, uh, college a um, the Alchemist song or something. Fuck, the fucking arrow is there for her, but she's not there. Or he. I don't know. It's always in the same spot, but the person's never there. I'm like, I just want to clear this off. <laughs> I can't. Uh, so apparently that glitched out on me, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that person got killed or something by a vampire. Who knows? So I was like, fuck, that sucks. Ugh. And I, I was getting my, where did I go to? What town? Solitude. I get into Solitude and uh, another Argonian attacked me. Was it Jiraha or something? I, all of a sudden I walk into town and he's like trying to kill me. I'm like, what, what the hell? <laughs> and then all the guards are attacking me. I'm like, all I'm trying to do is go finish this quest i just had to go tell somebody and get my reward for clearing out the cave and that's it so i had to run out of town run down into the swamps hide go back into town pay a bounty because i ended up killing oh i i put on a flame cloak and um because <laughs> i have to use these flame cloak spells uh that i'm doing for somebody at the mages uh you know, college up at Winterhold. And, of course, obviously the the guards ran into the flames. So, yeah. I had some bounties I had to pay off. It wasn't too bad. It was only like 160 gold. I've had it. Oh, God. I had Mark Hearth up to like, I don't even know, some ridiculous amount one time. Because I, I just kept going there with my last character and just fighting the guards and killing them. <laughs> so, that was at the end of that character. I was, I was getting bored, obviously. But uh, anyway, after I, I get done in Solitude, cleared out a bunch of stuff, uh, cleared up my bounty issues. Um, oh, has anybody ever had the glitch? Uh, if you do, uh, there's a quest in the uh, Dark Brotherhood. You do something in Solitude, and then people are looking for you, obviously. Uh, there's like three Thalmor agents to hang out in the tower and my last character they were there every time i went to the town every time but they were just standing there and i would go up there i would kill them they would never move or attack and they would never look for me but they would always be there showing red on the uh, screen you know showing up as red dots I'm like that's so weird it must have been i don't know if that'll happen this time or not i'll have to see because i did i did go around a room and go to sleep and woke up in the abandoned shack and started the Dark Brotherhood. So that's where I'm, I'm going to be going on my next. Uh, that's where I'll be heading next. Probably next time I play, starting that. But uh, I didn't this time because then I got distracted after I left the abandoned shack. <laughs> ended up at um, ended up at Hilgrun's tomb. Uh, you get there, and there's a guy named Galdir. Who he's so you go into the first room and he's standing there with his like back to the door. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna kill this guy. And I was like, mm, maybe he's good. Let me go check. <laughs> so, so thankfully, I didn't attack him. And yes, he was good. Uh, you gotta go in there, you gotta stop Val's Vern, who is a conjurer who's you know messing with his family. Uh, I guess his aunt or grandmother or mother, I don't know, I forget what her name was, Anga or something like that. She went down there to try and stop him. So but the pain in the ass with this one is he wants to go along with you. And, you know, he'll sneak when you sneak, but he's still in the way. So I I went in there with him, and 
it's just a pain. I realized since my companion, I like having a companion early in the game when you can't carry that much stuff. When you know when your capacity to carry isn't that good, it's nice for that. It's also nice if you're doing the dragon quest because you can, you know, especially if you're using the if you're an archer or a mage or something, you can use that person as kind of a tank and you can be off to the side. That's one good thing. Uh, the dog from Clavicus, Clavicus Vile quest is for. <laughs> he's great for that. So if you get him, like, and you have no companion, I mean, he's a pain in the ass because you can't sneak anywhere and he runs up and fucking gets involved in everything. But for, like, battling dragons, number one, he doesn't die. So the dragon will battle him, and then you kind of just, you can back off a little bit. And if you're, you know, a distance character, you can you can uh, fight a little better that way. But uh, you can't sneak because the fucking dog runs into everything. But uh, anyway, a lot of Draugr down there in, the, in Hilgren's tomb. Mostly snuck it. Um... Used, uh, I, I think I used my bow here because I knew if I used the blades, the idiot Goldier would run in front of me and I would hit him a bunch of times. So I went with, I, I tried sneaking. He snuck most of the time until something woke up and then he ran ahead, which is a pain in the ass. But I was able to, it was fun because I was able to shoot around him and stuff like that. At least there was a little bit of a challenge like that, shooting around him. And there was a lot. I'm getting to the level now where there's a lot more Death Lords, Draugr Death Lords. So, and there was Hulked Draugr in this one, which I must be specific to this uh, this tomb. And then at the end, there's like this massive Draugr battle, which is pretty cool. The guy, the Conjurer, I get the, he he was done quick, but uh, the Draugr just keep coming there. It's probably like 15 of them or something like that. Like, two or three coffins open, two or three coffins open. You know, you kill them off, two or three more open, blah, blah, blah. So it's pretty fun. Different sides of the room. You're going back and forth. I like a nice battle like that. And uh, it would have been more fun if uh, Goldier wasn't there because then I could have uh, – I would have had to sneak around a little more, been a little more cautious. But uh, he would generally take on one, and I would – as he was taking it on, I would kind of shoot around him <laughs> and uh, and pop it. But uh, yeah, I ended up finishing that up. That was a, that was a fun little cave. Uh, I don't think I picked up any shouts this time. Not that I'm using them, but uh, yeah. And at the end of this all, I ended up wandering to Falkreath finally. On the way, I got I think I battled like there's a lot of Spriggans down that way. <laughs> so I ended up battling a lot of Spriggans, and I came across a guy. I don't. Where was I? I was just outside of Falkreath, I think. Or it may have been in Falkreath. And there was a guy talking about... Was that at a... Maybe it was at a mill? I don't know. But I think I may have done this quest. This may be the quest with the little girl. I don't know. Is there a vampire in Falkreath? Yeah, I think there is. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, because I went down there. And I'm going to head over to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. And go through that quest line. I've done that both ways. I've I've eliminated them and been a part of them uh i like doing it as a part of them because some of their quests are fun eliminating them uh, eliminating them isn't really super fun it's just a single you know kind of a battle so i think i'd rather be a part of it and i almost turned into a vampire i didn't realize i got bit and all of a sudden i'm going through a cave and the red you know the red flashes on the screen oh you're feeling hungry i'm like oh shit let me take a cure, cure disease potion here. But, yeah, so next time I'll probably, because right now I'm at the footstep of uh, Falkreath, so next time I'll probably be heading through and down to the uh, Dark Brotherhood. Although I'm sure I could be distracted before then. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's time. Uh, I'm really thinking it's time to change characters. But I I got to know, people who've played a long time, smithing-wise, I what what's the highest you've gotten things up to as far you know even with the say with enchantments and stuff obviously it's much lower without i mean is there i didn't realize you could get it i know you can get like potions the best potion i ever made was like uh 128% smithing or something like that i think it was 
I thought that was where you and the enchantments. I think you can only max them out at what, like thirty eight percent. So you can have, I think, three things plus thirty eight. You know, enhanced smithing thirty eight percent on three items. Uh, probably, a, I think it's ring, necklace, and armor, or maybe it's uh, maybe it's four things. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know how people are smithing things up ridiculously. Maybe I have to look that up on YouTube. But um, if anybody knows how to do that or has done some crazy smithing, I mean, because I do it, but at, at some point the weapons become so powerful that really it doesn't matter. Right now, what I'm finding is when I go two handed or or with the one handed weapons, uh, it's it's more of a fun battle. So I'm going to probably switch to, for the Dark Brotherhood, I'll probably just use a dagger, because that's more fun sneaking, you know. And I want to start using my destruction magic, too. So um, I think I'm at level 44 now. My enchant, uh, my big thing is get the enchanting to 100 so I can do the double enchants. Right now, I think I'm at like 92, 93. I enchanted a bunch of stuff last night. So I'm, I might do that, get that to 100. Alchemy, I'm in like the 60s. I'm actually relatively high up on that. And I think I'm in the same area on my uh, archery, 60, 70, something like that. So I'm, I may switch over to some destruction magic because that'll make things a little more more difficult. The problem is, oh, I did notice oh, my flames don't do a whole hell of a lot of damage to the things I'm battling now because I just did basic flames for one thing I was like ah, I'll just take out this dragger like dragger like this and I was like oh, no I'm not going to do that because uh, I am blasting him with flames and nothing is happening <laughs> oh and I I just went and grabbed Dawn uh, what the hell is that sword name Dawnbreaker sorry I had it in a had it in my chest up at the college at Winterhold so I'm going to start using that since I've been heading into a lot of Draugr, torrents, uh, Draugr tombs. I've never really used that. I heard it's pretty cool, though. It has a pretty cool effect. I mean, because whenever I've gotten it, the other weapons I've had have always been way better than it. And I've always tended to use ones I make as opposed to the ones you find. I save the ones you find. I don't know why. I just stick them in a the chest. And same thing with potions. I try and sell as many po- You can only sell so many things, though. Like, I, I probably have, like, 400 potions in some stupid barrel. Ones that I'm never going to use because it's shit I just made to level up. I should just go give it away. <laughs> I should just take them all and go give them away to people. I wish I could do that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I can go sell them to the stores for free, technically. So maybe I'll go do that. Just get rid of them. Dump them off on them. Maybe they'll have lots of money next time I go back there. I don't know how that works out. But, yeah, that's all I kind of did this time. I, yeah, I do want to hear smithing hints or, you know, the best smithing you've done. Because for me, I generally stick with, I've always leaned towards the Elven. Because it's it's pretty good and it's light. Um, right now, I, have, I am up to, I did just uh, do the glass. So I'll probably be switching over to glass. I don't like the look of the glass, though. And I can't... The next one's dragon, and I can't... I'm not doing the dragon storyline, so there's no point in me getting it. <laughs> so so I, I'm going to probably switch over to glass and see what I can get stuff up to. But uh, I got a bunch of sh- fucking materials right now that I'm dragging around that I got to get rid of, too. So I'm probably going to do some... Some glass enchanting once, or smithing, and then enchanting once I, once I uh, get a little further along on Dark Brotherhood. I have been using. I have, oh god, I got a lot of potions that I got to get rid of, and I got a lot of soul gems. Yeah, I got. I got to do some inventory clean out because I'm only every time I clean out, I'm only leaving myself with like 150 weight left. And that's not a lot now, yeah. Because especially when you're battling the Death Lords and stuff, because you know if they have a ebony war axe or ebony great sword, those things weigh a lot, and they're good money. You know, I'm, I think I have like eleven thousand gold right now, so it's not like a lot. 
But I'm like, oh, wow, that's a, I could get like 500 for that. Let me take that. <laughs> and then I don't, you know, it weighs 20, has 20 weight. I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't because I have 87 soul gems and 400 potions for no good reason. So I did start clearing a lot of those out. And I started using my, I had a paralysis potion I made. I started using that. Uh, I was using that when I was doing some two-handed. Especially, I was using it on uh, more difficult characters that that I wasn't really quite leveled up to battle as a two-handed person that kind of would beat me down in like three hits. <laughs> so that kind of helped me out there. I was able to extend the battle and, and kind of work it a little bit. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of strategy to two-handed. It's just beat the hell out of people. So, And the long hammer, I have it smithed up, but it's not like I have... I haven't really put any points into two hand it. I think I did one. So I, and you know, I got like what the 20% bonus or whatever it is. So I haven't put any, uh, any points into that, but, uh, I'm going to see, and you know what? I guess I can go, I've never gone legendary on a thing either. So I will be getting there with enchanting, but once you do, do you lose the, per I gotta, I gotta look it up. See if you lose the perks and stuff. Cause I've never actually done it, even though I had everything maxed out. I should have done just everything legendary on the other character and started over. That would have been pretty interesting. But um, that character is gone. I have deleted everything. So, Or is it? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's gone. I, plus, I, I don't know if I could go back. I don't know. I'll have to look and see. Maybe I'll go back and see if that character is there and go legendary on it if I have any time. All right. That's all I got. Um... Skyrimatic podcast at gmail.com for whatever you have. Audio, text, whatever. Not video. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to play video. Sorry. <laughs> I can play the audio from the video. No, whatever. Alrighty. I'm out.